Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearth Farm 4 as we are playing with the Communist States of America. So last episode, we put the finishing touch on, on wrapping up North America, uh, getting the, the British completely kicked out of here, and so that is finished. Uh, now we're going to start concentrating on uh, the offensive. So we're bringing troops over here to the Soviet Union. We saw that last episode. We slowly are pumping some troops over there. Uh, and you'll notice here um, that, obviously... Japan is connected this way, right? And then they can go through Qing China. Well, apparently, and I missed this somehow, uh, they have decided to declare independence, and they are now at war with Japan. They're not part of any faction. I want to say they're still in the war against us. Uh, but the main point here is that Japan is, is cut off from the rest of their territories. Uh, so pretty much all you got to do is take this port here, take this right here, uh, then they, they do not have supply. To the, all these troops that are here. I guess they do have this here. I suppose there's that. Uh, let me take that back. Uh, but I think the main point here, though, is that Japan is in a very vulnerable position. Uh, they could be easily uh, destroyed. At, at the very least, any of the ones around here could be easily destroyed. So I think our army here is going to do some good, guys. Uh, so the other thing I want to go ahead and do is it's time to engage the Japanese fleet. Uh, the reason why I've been waiting is because I wanted to get air coverage here. Uh, and as well as radar support. Uh, we need a little bit more on the air bases. Frankly, the air bases aren't quite large enough for what I want to do here. What we're going to do with our Navy is let's just change up some things, especially over here in the Atlantic. Uh, so the issue here in the Atlantic is that the British fleet is not coming over here. We've already seen that. Uh, we haven't been able to engage them. Uh, it does seem that they are here in the Iberian coast, so we could likely engage them there. Uh, we could also engage them here. If we engage them over here in the Western approaches, then that would uh, end up resulting in them having air support more than likely, so probably not good. Uh, we're just going to change up the way we're, we're positioning these here. Let's go ahead and have that be allowed right there, and then change the Norwegian, the Norwegian Sea to be not allowed. Same thing here. We're just going to switch it over here just so our ships aren't going where uh, they would get bombed, and most importantly, our convoys aren't going through there. Uh, the uh, Iberian coast, no reason to block that any longer. Uh, we don't even care if... I don't think it's going to matter if they go through the Mediterranean. There might still be British ships there, but we can just block it right here. Uh, so we'll do that that way. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and allow access to over here and then shut down access over here. As you can see, it's actually going through there, which might not be for the best, and that's why it could go through here. I was hoping that the trade would go up through here, but yeah, they're currently cut off, so uh, actually we might not be able to to trade with the Soviet Union that way. I don't know if it'll go through there. I suppose we'll find out. We'll just let it, uh, when we let it play, we'll see what happens uh, with our, our new uh, changes here. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust our fleets accordingly. Uh, let's go ahead and have them, I think we're still sinking over here, uh, but I'd prefer to sink them over this way. So let's go ahead and move all these guys. We're gonna move this fleet. They're no longer gonna be here, here, or here. Uh, there is a lot of convoys going through here, so we might be able to engage some right there. Uh, we don't wanna go through right there. Let's just change it so that we're covering these regions here. Always got to have some loud ass motors that go by. Uh, so the other thing I wanted to go ahead and do is let's move uh, Ernest King's fleet over to here. Uh, we're going to attempt to engage the Japanese. We're going to need more ships to do so. And I don't think we'll be able to engage the British just yet. They're just a little bit too far away, guys. Uh, our, our ships are, the range isn't great, obviously. We still have some lower level ships in here. All I'm seeing though is this one cruiser. Oh, uh, we got the heavy cruiser as well. So, yeah, I don't know how well their range is going to... It looks like we can't cover most of this anyway, I'm way. Um, it could also be because I don't think it's because it's blocked, though. Nah, it's just the range. So, yeah, I don't think we'd be able to cover this region where we could battle them. And besides, even if we did, we would end up having them, uh, you know, having ground-based air support, which would cause us issues. So, instead, let's pull this back. And, and we'll use this this fleet. Maybe I'll pull some of the ships out of here, actually, so this fleet is a little bit larger. I think that would probably be a good idea, actually. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll pull some of the ships out of here. Uh, let's pull maybe a couple battleships, and as well as some, some screens is what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and then we'll, we'll have this green fleet. We'll be the main Atlantic fleet until we deal with the Japanese. Uh, so I was waiting to do this. A lot of people have been saying for like a couple episodes now, oh, pull your fleet over to the Pacific. Well, we still wouldn't win. Even both these fleets, guys, 25 ships plus 28, pretty sure that's a lot lower than the 90 ships that the Japanese have over here. So we need an advantage. Now, we still could, might be able to win, perhaps. 
You never know. We might have better training. We might have better ships. We might be able to win. Uh, but if we did, we'd lose half of our navy. And the other half of the navy would be repairing in dockyards for like the next six months. Uh, so obviously not good. So instead, we want to make sure we have a significant advantage. And we're going to do that through air support. Uh, so that's the reason why I was waiting, if you're curious. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull some of the ships out of here. Uh, create a new fleet, and then we'll add, add them to here, and then we'll pull them back. All right, so this is going to be the fleet that we leave. Uh, it's going to be one carrier, two battleships, and with that one shittier light cruiser. Leave us with a 20, total of 21 ships. Uh, we're also going to be leaving some of these uh, screens as well. Uh, we'll probably leave uh, these two screens here. So let's go and take both of these guys, move them on over to here. Uh, this is going to be King's Fleet, uh, and we're just going to completely uh, change up where they're located. Uh, so let's go ahead and have them uh, move over to Hawaii for right now. And once they get there, then we should have enough ships to engage the Japanese with air support, of course. Uh, so I know that they're over here on the Atlantic Theater. We're gonna keep them here and just have to remember that, that they're technically in the Pacific for right now because we're gonna move King back once we finish up uh, fighting the, the Japanese. So now that we have uh, those ships separated, let's go ahead and merge these. Uh, we're gonna want to, I, I don't think we're gonna keep this many uh, patrols just now yeah because these guys aren't gonna have enough screens not even close uh, so what we're probably gonna do is just merge them with this screen uh, force yeah let's just do this and merge all of those guys uh, and then we're gonna be changing up where they're located uh, and we do want them doing strike first and then we're gonna have them pull back and start operating here yeah that looks pretty squared away guys yeah, this will be the, where they operate out of out of these four regions. And that'll be under uh, Admiral Helsley. Anything else that we need to do? Oh, yes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change these guys to also start mining over here and protect any convoys going through here. I want to get some mines going that way. And we could pull from right there. I don't think we're going to have any issues there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pull from there. And I want to say that we are done with the Atlantic side of the things. I know this has kind of been a little while. Uh, it's taken us a while to get through here, uh, but I really want to make these adjustments. I think it's key. Uh, there's no reason to have the convoys going through here. They could go through here. So let's restrict access, and then they'll they'll go this way. Uh, and I want to say we could also restrict access here. Yeah, just to try and reduce the amount of areas that our fleets are currently covering is, is what I'm trying to do here, guys. And there's a lot of loud vehicles go by and going by right now. I apologize. We'll pull our fleet from over there. Just to have them concentrate on these four regions, and eventually we're going to be moving over to that region. Uh, and then I want to say these guys here can can cover that uh, for right now, and hopefully they can do it. These guys over here, uh, we're not doing anything with just with them just yet. Uh, submarines, we're going to continue having them here. I know that we're we're losing a ton, guys, uh, but I think it's worth it, and I'll show you here in a minute why. Uh, these guys here are currently moving as well. Where are they at right now? Uh, okay, they're still way the fuck over here. Uh, as well as them. We, I think we just moved them. All right, that looks pretty good. These are still repairing. What I think we're going to do uh, once yeah, once we get all of them repaired with the exception of this guy here, uh, we're going to uh, now pull this one, this one out once the rest of them are repaired. The problem, of course, is that they're in a little tiny dockyard or a little tiny base where it just can't build very much. I want to say we're already building there. Yeah, we're already building there, so that should help them build up a little bit quicker. All right, so that looks squared away, guys. Uh, that's all I wanted to do. Uh, now just to show you those two points that I was, I was highlighting. First of all, the reason why the having the submarines uh, engaged here is helpful is because look at how much we're reducing the enemy strength. Here we go. Uh, look at their screens. You notice that they've lost anywhere from like, you know, maybe just 2% health all the way to what I'm saying here is like 16% health. Uh, looking at the uh, battleships and the heavy carrier or heavy cruisers, uh, we got a couple percent there. Uh, and yeah, about 9% here for one of these battleships. And then we've even damaged one of the carriers at their 89.9% health. So those ships are going to be damaged when we actually engage them. Uh, and they'll be even further damaged. Uh, we could even possibly destroy a few ships with our bombers here. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens there, guys. Uh, that's why I'm keeping the, the submarines there. Because I feel like, yes, we're losing submarines. But I feel like it's worth it because you know how long it's going to take to, to repair those those uh, capital ships if we don't destroy them? Uh, longer than it takes to build the submarines, I'll tell you that. It takes forever to build those capital ships up. The Mexicans did make it, guys. And I'm moving them to, all, to cover all these ports. They're going to be defending the Philippines for us. Now, remember, the Philippines is not currently in the conflict. Uh, so 
the Japanese cannot invade here. I didn't want to pull them in because obviously we weren't ready for, for defending it. Uh, so once the Mexicans get to their positions, I'm thinking that we might launch an invasion of North Borneo, guys. Uh, and then from there, we can invade Singapore. I don't know how well this is going to work because obviously, you know, we don't really uh, cover this area here much, but there's not a lot of ships. So perhaps, remember the majority of the Japanese fleet is over here. Uh, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and take a look at what happens with us changing these. See if, make sure that we can still get trade. Uh, we might not be able to. Yeah, because if it's not going to go up to there and it's not going to go in here, then I want to say that that means we can't get, can't get the trade from them. Though I'm not seeing any indications of such. Yeah, it still says we can get trade from them. I don't know where it's going. Is it going right there? No, that's not it either. It must be going through... I'm not entirely sure. Okay, it's going all the way around up through here. All right, so it's still better, I think. Honestly, I mean, it doesn't... I suppose it's not, because it's going all the way through Japanese territory. All right, so we're just going to open it up. There's really no way to, uh, to avoid it, guys. So we're going to open up trade there, and it can come back through here and up into there. There's no way to avoid the, the Mediterranean. Uh, for whatever reason, it just won't go to, to that port. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't been able to get it to go to go there, unfortunately. Just taking a look at the convoys. Yeah, they all did go through here. Excellent. So we no longer need to cover it, uh, except for these ones here. They did go around this way. All right. Well, once again, I don't think there's any way to avoid that. But they're not, uh, they're not attacking us there, so it's fine for now until things change up. Yeah, so that looks good. All right. Excellent. So we have reduced the amount of areas that we have to cover. Uh, it does seem we're having some supply issues, though, perhaps because of those adjustments. I'm not entirely sure. The specific Lion Ridge. Uh, let's see what happened here. Looks like we did lose uh, six planes trying to bomb those convoys. And maybe a, another plane there. Yep. So that's really... I, I don't like when we bomb... Uh, and Romania. Okay. I don't like when we bomb the, the convoys with our planes. They never seem to do any damage. Uh, they just aren't very good at the convoy raiding, uh, the, you know, using your air force for it. Yeah, like, I don't know if it's just not showing that we're doing damage to them, but we're losing just tons of planes here. For what? For, like, nothing. We're gaining no advantage from it. Uh, so that's why it's really good to have the submarine battles, because then the planes engage in that, and they actually get to bomb, you know, ships, uh, which is, is helpful. Uh, and let me just take a look here. Uh, it looks like we finished up that battle, and you can see what kind of damage we did to all these ships here. So we're getting them down slowly. Uh, so they might end up having to go repair, uh, which would allow us to kind of reign supreme here for a little while. So do we want to go ahead and launch our invasions? Oh yes, we're still waiting for those ships. So we just have to wait. A whole bunch of people getting called into the conflict here. And most of them were already in it in some form or fashion. Oh yes, I wanted to start the episode. I said I was gonna do this last episode and then I fucking forgot. Oh nice, sunk three German submarines. I wanted to show you guys the progress of the conflict because I haven't done this in like three episodes. So looking at our casualties, we've lost 34,000 casualties, most of that to the British, probably when we were fighting them in Canada. Uh, Soviet Union's lost 2.39 million, most of that to the Germans. Uh, that's pretty much it for our faction. Uh, the French have taken massive casualties, 2.09. They're also 39% towards capitulation. The French are having some difficulties. Uh, Austria-Hungary, 529,000. The Italians, 1.12 million. And once again, most of these are to the Germans. Looking at uh, the other side, the enemies, uh, the Polish lost 80,000. Uh, the uh, Finnish obviously defeated. They lost 130, 123,000, excuse me. Uh, Germans, 1.08 million. Uh, they are currently 9% towards capitulation. Uh, and Italy's done the brunt of that, Italy and France, Soviet coming up behind them. Uh, British have lost 1.13 million casualties, so even more than Germans, and we have done a lot of that. Uh, the French, 510,000, us, 351,000, so just in comparison. They killed 31.8 thousand of ours, while we killed 351,000 of theirs. So I, I want to say we, we did pretty good in Canada here. Uh, British Malaya is another one. We did 32,000 of that 41,000. Uh, and let me just see if there's anybody else. For whatever reason, and this is what I was talking about, this is broken, man. Like, the Japanese are not considered in the conflict for whatever reason. You can't look at, like, their casualties or, or anything. I don't know what's going on there. It's kind of odd, though. Uh, so that was the first thing I wanted to show you, and then I wanted to show you guys the current situation in the seas. Uh, so looking at the current year, and we only want to look at... I mean, I guess we could look at all factions. That's fine. Uh, so as far as submarines go, we've lost 23 submarines, while the Japanese have lost 20. So we are losing when it comes to submarines. We've lost a ton over here, obviously. Those those numbers are starting to decrease. 
Uh, as far as convoys, though, we've lost three convoys, and we sunk 596 convoys. A lot of those have been Japanese, um, but you know, remember we've also we've also sunk like a ton of British and German convoys as well. 596 to three, guys. Uh, a lot of people don't really care about convoys. Uh, also, looking at light holes for whatever reason, the current year is never very accurate. Like you could look at the months, and then you'll see that you sunk a bunch of ships that aren't included in here. Uh, but yeah, you look at the destroyers. We sunk one one Japanese destroyer as well. Uh, and here shows you a little bit more uh, of a breakdown for you know we sunk 25 for British uh, convoys, 44 Japanese, four other ones, uh, and show you this here as well. So. We're easily winning the convoy battle. A lot of people don't really care about the convoy battle. You know, they think, oh, well, this is not that important. Uh, but just, oh, there's another convoy sunk. Excellent. Uh, so, hold up. The, the thing about the convoys is, remember, one, that, that could be troops going through. Uh, so you're, you're killing troops. Uh, same thing as sur surrounding some divisions and destroying them, which people obviously care about that. I don't know. Yeah, I think maybe the situation here is what messed stuff up. I don't know. Maybe, maybe now it'll be fixed and Japan will be called in. Nope, not yet. But maybe with all these declarations, it'll get fixed. Uh, so yeah, you could end up sinking troops. So that's obviously important. In addition to sinking troops, uh, oh, we actually engaged. We engaged the British fleet. Wow. All right, about fucking time. So this is where the British fleet is, where we can actually fight them. And I'm gonna say that we should try. Uh, this seems like not very many ships, and I would love to just get a victory against them. Though we are kind of far off. Let's just see. Uh, we have merged these ships. There's 19. We have 19 ships total. I almost want to go ahead and... Nah, we can't really cover it all that well, huh? Yeah, they're a little bit too far away. All right, we'll just have to wait. We'll wait, guys. Uh, but yeah, you sink, you sink troops. And when you sink their trade, uh, obviously, that's resources they're not getting for their factories. Oil that Japan's not getting. Uh, so all pretty good things, honestly. Uh, and a call to arms. I, this could also be causing issues, too, is me not being at war with everybody. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to keep on denying it for right now and saying, nah, I'm not interested. More convoys sunk there. Excellent, though we are starting to face some resistance there in our convoy sinking efforts. Uh, but yeah, you're, you're stopping them from getting trade. Uh, remember, they have to build convoys. So let's take a look and see how many troops we have here. They are starting to push here, uh, but we still hold the port. We got a few more coming now. There's three divisions right there. Uh, but remember, they have to build the convoys. Uh, they build the convoys, you know, with their dockyards. So every time they're building convoys, they're doing that instead of building other ships. All right, a little bit of damage here. I don't know if we did it or somebody else did it. Uh, so things are uh, happening over here. I would like to watch the battle just to see if, like, that damage is being done by our, our submarines at all. Probably not, but it'd be interesting to know. Uh, okay, what happened here? It looks like they might have pulled their fleet back, guys. Might have done enough damage to them and they went to go repair. It's a possibility, which would be really, really good because that would allow us to, you know, then do our naval invasions without any resistance. Uh, yeah, there's not as many ships here, and it's Azawa here now instead, so different admiral than was there before. Now, the AI seems to flip their admirals around in a nonsensical way as well, so... I don't know. They did that with their generals, too. And, okay, so Zealand, uh, New Zealand now has that same imperial civil war going on here. So you have the imperialists down here and New Zealand up here. Uh, we'd have dockyards. So let's go and get these assigned. Uh, because I, we're almost done with the Tom Cruiser. We're only going to build one Tom Cruiser for right now, guys. I want to see how it does. First of all, it's only 1936 hole, too. And I don't know when we're going to 1940 hole. And I want to see how it does in battle. Uh, so we're only going to build one. I've also set these two to only one. Some people pointed that out that I had forgotten to do that. Uh, so that is fixed now. Uh, we should probably go ahead and start building some more submarines to replace all these damn submarines we've lost. Just taking a look here. Uh, and we need more uh, Navy experience to, to build the, the cruisers. Uh, and yes, New Zealand's been pulled into the conflict. Really just some issues, guys, when it comes to the... Uh, yeah, we're seeing a lot of convoys there. That's awesome. Uh, just coming to the with the wars, just a lot of issues here uh, because of... Uh, here we go. Japan's now involved. Uh, so we can see that they have faced 751,000 casualties. We've done 266 of that. Uh, we've also lost a lot more now, too, now that you include Japan. Uh, Japan has done 20,000 casualties to us, but obviously massive differences between the casualty numbers here, guys. Yeah, pretty pretty damn good uh, we've been doing. And considering the fact that we've got just loads of manpower and the enemy does not, uh, that's going to make a massive difference here. 
Not going into your goddamn words. Stop trying to call me, man. I said no. All right, let's go and pull these guys out. Don't really have anywhere to put them right now. Uh, I think we actually need to create a new army because our current armies are full. Not really a whole lot to do with our divisions, guys. Unfortunately. Yeah, there's just not, not much that we can do with it. Uh, I think we'll probably move these guys to Florida just to have them on the East Coast. And that's where we'll put all our, our troops that are done training for right now. Uh, let's take a look at the the Red Army and see how many over here. Yes, we have got them here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and start moving around, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and secure this air base. Uh, it looks like there is a little bit of space there. We'll probably move some, some planes there once we have it secured. Uh, we'll go ahead and once again keep that one division there. Uh, and let's go ahead and move over to here as well. And maybe up here. Yeah. Uh, and we'll see if we can't cut off some Japanese troops and get them destroyed. Maybe advance down the coastline here. Looks like there's no resistance there. The Japanese have pulled back. Uh, so let's see if we can't help the Russians take back their territory. Uh, invading up here would also be a priority. There's some good resources here. So getting this into Soviet hands rather than Japanese hands would be useful. But we need more troops. Uh, so let's get them over there. We're going to keep some red troops here because they did attempt to invade here a little while back. They had a mission there to invade. Uh, so we want to make sure that we keep that secure. Uh, and what is this about? War propaganda most likely? Yes. War propaganda. Let's just go ahead and stop all that. And are we still increasing stability? Let's just take a look here. It looks like it, yeah. Still slowly increasing it. Uh, still engaging the fleets here. And once again, you'll notice that there's not as many ships here any longer. So still waiting for those fleets to get over here. Uh, and it looks like we might have one here. Yes, one of them is here. Excellent. Let's go and launch our invasions. Uh, and hopefully they succeed. And let me make sure that these guys are set to cover this region. Yeah, we have naval invasion support here. Excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and have uh, the troops launch their invasion. So far, we haven't seen any resi any uh, sh enemy ships over here. So I feel like they're probably going to make it. Hopefully. We might not be able to do it just because we don't have control of the region, actually. Yeah, we don't have control of the region. So we might not be able to do any of these invasions, actually, until after we've... Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to do any of them. We're going to go ahead and set these guys up, though. Let's do their naval invasion really nice if we had a hotkey for naval invasions that would be awesome i want this one right here so we're gonna try and seize control of that just because it's got an air base there uh so we need to send more troops as well let's get a couple divisions we'll get one more division going over here but right now once again there's enemies in the waters so we don't want to get engaged so we'll bring those guys over here and then we'll deploy them to the to the naval invasion uh, and we're just waiting on the other fleet to get over here before we attempt to to move our our ships uh, Where are they currently at? They are actually here. Excellent So do we have the air base built up because if we do and I've already set up nearby uh, Planes to to move over here. We don't yet have the air base set up. We're still building it I might actually need to take that up to the top. Yeah, we do need to take it up to the top uh, Of course, we need more stuff to get built as well here. So let's go and take a look at that see what we want to do how large is this one? Large enough. It's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and c continue working on factories and dockyards. We're pretty stacked on dockyards, but let's build two more. And we'll build one right there. And one right there, 100%. And then we'll also get some more military factories. Always need more military factories. All right, that looks pretty squared away. It's gonna take all these down to the bottom. All right, uh, let's see what happened over here. Just seeing if we've, yeah, it's just all convoys, pretty much. It's pretty much convoys, guys. Uh, might have done a little bit of damage. Nah, they didn't. They might be too far out now. I'm not entirely sure. No, we can reach them. Yep, those tactical bombers do have some pretty long range, so they are capable of reaching them. Uh, just take a look at how we're doing on tactical bombers. Make sure that, yeah, we are in the negative. I think I actually have a tactical bomber uh, air wing over here training up. What we'll do is we'll just go ahead and, and destroy this one so that they can go to the air wings that need them. All right, so that's looking squared away. We also have some close air support currently done. Uh, let's go ahead and move those two, though I don't know where we're going to move them just yet. I suppose we can move them over to here. Do we have an air base over here yet? We do not. We should probably get that fixed. Uh, but we can move them right over to here. So let's go ahead and get some support here. Uh, and... There we go. Uh, we'll also want to move some fighters over there. Uh, I want to say that we have plenty of fighters like sitting around not doing anything uh, somewhere 
we have fighters here. I think we have some that are training. Yeah, and those are garbage ones anyway. So we probably want to move some different ones. Let's see if I can find some some fighters out here. I know we have some. We have some there, uh, but I want to keep those ones there. I want to say it's in, in Hawaii, actually. Yeah, I think we have quite a few in Hawaii. Let's go ahead and move these. Uh, we're not even using them over here. And let's get them helping us out against the Japanese. Air superiority, there we go, excellent. And let's see what happened over here. Sunk some more convoys. Sinking convoys all the way across this region here. Excellent. Yeah, a lot of English convoys, as well as German. I don't know if those are troop convoys or trade convoys, maybe a little bit of both. Hard to say. So no battles that we need to be worried about, I don't think. All right, so let's make sure that our troops are moving forward here. In fact, let's go and destroy that Japanese division. And yeah, we can actually go and seize that, that air base there. Let's go and push forward here as well. And just slowly take some territory. In fact, let's go and grab that there to cut the Japanese off from here while these guys go grab that air base for us. I do have a new invasion that I'm seeing, or a new uh, battle that I'm seeing here. All right, some Japanese convoys. Uh, so we've got to pull the Philippines in if we want to invade from their territory. The reason why I haven't done so yet is because I wanted to get all our troops moved around. Uh, and it's looking pretty good. I think we'll probably invade from right here just because it's the closest. So let's go ahead and move our troops one at a time and hopefully they make it. Uh, I mean, it's risky. There's not yeah, there's not a lot of room for error here. Uh, so, but if they make it, then it will allow the invasion to be a little bit more chance of being successful. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I might send them some more uh, ships as well, because I would really like to get North Borneo in a hand, so that would really fuck the British up. That would be all messed up. I guess we'd take a look at what's going on in Europe, see how the situation has changed. Uh, it seems that the Germans have uh, pushed the Austrians back a little bit. Uh, they still have their territory here, uh, but yeah, they've pushed them back just a bit. Uh, the French are being pushed back by the British as well. So the Central Powers are doing better. Uh, definitely doing better. Uh, also some advancement here. Uh, Soviet Union is having more issues there. Uh, in Asia, Soviet Union is making progress, though, from what I'm seeing. Uh, probably because of all the issues, especially with them declaring war. That's going to cause a lot of problems for them. Uh, so now they've wrapped this up. I'm not creating, uh, you know, any fronts or anything like that. We're just going to manually control them. We're still waiting on a lot of troops to get here. Uh, and then we'll probably send them this way. And they're going to be going all different ways and stuff. So it'd be easiest to, uh, you know, not to get, get too crazy with it. Uh, let's go ahead and send some more divisions. Once again, just sending... We'll send three at a time here. And hopefully that'll be... Uh, you know, they won't get sunk. And just more convoys sunk throughout this area. So another advantage of sinking those convoys uh, is impacting their war support. So you'll see with the, the British, trade convoys being raided, negative 9.5% uh, for a weekly of negative 1.17%. So we're definitely impacting their war support. Taking a look at the Japanese, see if we impacted that at all. A little bit, not quite as much. Uh, but yeah, raiding the convoys does help you out in that way. Uh, sunk three convoys there. Though in my Japanese one, I've sunk like thousands of convoys, and it seems like it doesn't have any damn effect on the uh, the Americans for whatever reason. Americans don't seem to give a shit about their convoys, apparently. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do a non-aggression pact with New Zealand. Uh, we're, not, we're not here to fight them. It looks like they're advancing as well. That's good to see. I'm pleased with that. Uh, have we seized control of this region enough? Nah, they still have a lot of, a lot of ships here, unfortunately. All right, uh, so have we built this up yet? No, we haven't, so we still got to wait. And we did get the improved medium batteries. Excellent. Once again, still don't have the Navy experience to do what we want up there with just yet. Uh, we do still have a lot of stuff we have to get, so that's okay. We'll probably do the depth charges next if we're doing... Yeah, we're doing uh, torpedoes. So let's get the depth charges. Uh, we do have more free dockyards. i uh, imagining that we did finish up. Yep, yeah, we finished up our Tom Cruisers. Awesome. Uh, so we'll go take a look at those in a second. And let's go ahead and do... I feel like we don't have enough screens... Uh, at the moment, so we should probably build more of those. Yeah, I think that would probably be good. Let's do more destroyers and probably more uh, uh, cruisers as well. And I suppose we can put one into that, that battleship, the South Dakotas, and maybe get them done a little bit sooner. Uh, the reason why we don't have a lot going into them right now is, of course, because uh, they... Hold up, let's just take a look here. Uh, is because, uh, you know, we have that other battleship, the old battleship currently building... So once they finish that up, that does mean that we should probably take a look at our ship's training. Uh, it seems we have a submarine done. Excellent. Let's go and pull them out. And then move them over to these guys here who desperately need more submarines. 
All right, excellent. Are these submarines done just yet? Wherever the hell they're at. I think I want to say it's, ooh, I don't actually know. I think it's this one here. Uh, they have moved, interestingly enough. Why'd they move? Yeah, where are they up there now? They used to be down here. Not entirely sure why they moved. Uh, they did finish, oh, they finished training. Or finished uh, repairing, that was pretty quick. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and have, uh, we want them based out of there. I don't think they actually have bases anymore, honestly. Not entirely sure how that works. Um, where they used to, you had to select where they're based out of. I, I think they just, yeah, I don't think they have bases any longer. So what we're gonna do with this, this submarine fleet here is we're gonna raid the Japanese uh, over here and see if we can't can't hitting their convoys. Now I I would prefer not to to raid close to Japan just because they might end up destroying our uh, submarines with their their land based planes. So let's do here first and see if we catch anything. If we don't, then we'll get a little bit bolder and move into like the coast of Japan and sea of Japan. Uh, there might not be anybody there because of the fact they haven't engaged us over here yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and take uh, these divisions here and we're gonna move these ones over to here. All right, so let's take a little bit of time. Let's go and push forward here with these divisions. And we don't even have to take that there. We're gonna make this a little bit wider now. Uh, you can see Japanese there. Yeah, some issues. Let's take a look. If we, yeah, 33%, almost got the destroyer sunk right there. Uh, that is a little bit further south. So yeah, the fleet is a little bit further south there. We did sink that destroyer, excellent. I know it's just a destroyer, guys, but a win is a win. <laughs> Anything to help reduce the amount of Japanese ships here is helpful in my eyes. Still waiting to get this built up. It's built. Excellent. All right. Let's go ahead and move our planes now. Uh, that's what we were waiting on. Uh, and I did move some some planes from, from over here, and I split them so that we have like 50s, 50 planes over there. And this will need to be merged now. All right. So we have 100 uh, bombers here, 100 bombers here, and 100 bombers there. So that's 300 total bombers. Uh, let's go ahead and move uh, one of the better ones. Move these guys over to here and that will provide a little bit more uh, air support here. Uh, I don't think there's any point of adding any there though. All right, so that looks pretty good. Uh, and then do we have, we have fighters here. We've got the big bombers. All right, we are good to go. All right, so once those planes get over there, shouldn't take long, it's not very far away. Uh, but once they get over there, then we're gonna move our fleets, our two fleets into this region in an attempt to engage the Japanese, uh, and let's just see what happened over here. I do have to keep looking at this. Make sure that we're not like, you know, fighting the large British fleet. And we got the torpedo launchers, excellent. I wish we just had a little bit more experience uh, so that we could actually start making some stuff. We don't want to get the snorkels. The submarine stuff is the last thing I'm gonna get though. What's this, snorkels, yeah. Uh, improved light battery, probably what we, what we get next. Really just focusing on equipment. In fact, we have enough going towards equipment right now. Let's go ahead and start getting some other stuff, guys. Uh, obviously, we need a lot more things. Uh, so let's just take a look here. Make sure that we're good on our planes. Yeah, we're decent for right now. Uh, looking at, yeah, we're good there. Uh, do we have, we do not have the 1940 radar yet, so might want to get that. And we need to start getting 1941 industrial techs. Yeah, we're kind of far off from that. We are getting a bonus from the, the uh, USSR uh, being in that, that uh, research agreement with us. So let's go ahead and get the, the industrial techs. I think that'll help us. There we go, four more convoys sunk, excellent. All right, so I wanna say, uh, yeah, we should probably move some more troops over there. That's right, before we engage the, with the Philippines. So one at a time over there. Let's take a look, make sure that we got our troops all advancing over here. Uh, need to go ahead and move there. We'll help defend them there. In fact, we're going to cut those guys off. Uh, that should make it, should be pretty easy. There is some fortifications there, so let's go this way. And we have more troops here as well. Uh, let's send one more over to here, just to make sure that we're able to get this wrapped up, because I saw there's some divisions down there, so it could be a bit rough. Uh, and then we're going to go and move these divisions. We're just going to manually control them, because we're not even doing anything, honestly, uh, other than managing navies right now. So I don't see any reason not to. Could cut more divisions off over here. That would be, yeah, just sending one division, we could easily cut off like a ton of troops, man. Yeah, let's do that. Let's send this division over to here, and then we're gonna attempt to cut off not just these divisions, but all of the divisions. It's just a couple provinces we have to take. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what decision we have available. Emergency factory, yeah, we don't wanna do that. I like my civilian factories, man. So, more cowboys sunk over here. And I wanna say, these guys should be moved now. Let's take a look. 
Yep, they're moved. Excellent. We're gonna go ahead and, and pump our uh, our navy over to there. We do have another dockyard done. Let's put it into. Let's see here. We do need more destroyers. Need more submarines too. I guess we'll do submarines since we're still trying to replace all those ones that we lost a little while ago. Let's take a look and see if any ships are done repairing. They're not. There's the top cruiser right now, guys. It's currently uh, uh, getting its uh, experience up. Uh, and I almost want to pull it out and let it go to battle, man. <laughs> Try it out in the battle. We'll wait, though. Uh, if we take heavy losses, we're going to need the Tom Cruiser, man. The Tom Cruiser is going to save the day. All right, so the fleet is here. Excellent news. You can see they're damaged. A little bit of damage here. Let's go ahead and move our ships into here. Or, or excuse me. Uh, yeah, our ships, our entire uh, two fleets. Let me just see if they are still here. Yeah, a little cruiser there. All right, guys, it is time to engage him. Hopefully this goes well. I don't know. We'll just have to see because <laughs> it's uh, obviously very uh, very high numbers that they have here. Uh, so let's do just these guys. These guys are just going to be covering this region here. And we're going to want these guys doing the strike force and then these guys doing patrol. All right, fantastic go. Uh, and then we have this whole fleet here is going to be moving over to here. And hopefully they're able to accomplish their goals. We'll have to see. Let's see if they can get in here and engage them. Uh, and bringing those other additional ships in here, at the very least, will allow us to do the naval invasions. Uh, that's the one positive, uh, is even if we engage and we lose, and there's so many ships here, so losing is definitely a reality. Uh, but I do want to be aggressive here, guys, uh, with our air support. I feel like it's worth it. And they're just going to keep on pulling, trying to pull me in. They just, they just don't know that no means no, goddammit. Stop asking. Uh, we probably have troops done training. We do. All these mountain troops are done training. Remember, the mountain troops are kind of garbage. We haven't uh, ticked them up at all, Ready. unfortunately. I want to say we're going to need like 50 Navy experience to really get anything done with the to make them decent anyway. The cruisers and the destroyers. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to take a while, guys. Kind of a shame it goes up so damn slow. God, there's just so many like motorcycles going by today. But anyway, we could have our whole treat, uh, fleet train. Uh, and it looks like we... Oh, nice. Here we go. Uh, we have engaged some convoys, and this is their, their fleet. Uh, the one that's Ozawa's. Uh, this is uh, over here supposed to be protecting Japan. Uh, Japanese territory, so we'll see how well we do. We did sink one convoy. You notice that they have four carriers over here, quite a few heavy ships as well. Yeah, this is this is at least half the navy over here, while the other half is uh, over here. At the very least, they can't engage us with their entire fleet, so there's that. Uh, we were able to get engage the convoy and get away with very mild damage. Submarines are just so much more useful than they used to be. But that does mean that they have a fleet here as well, so that's kind of bad for any of our, sh our troops that are attempting to make it here. Uh, so let's go and destroy that Japanese division now that we cut them off. Uh, let's go and attack the cab divisions, because why not? Let's go ahead and push forward over here as well. Uh, we do have this division coming somewhere. Okay, he's moving over to there. Uh, and I think, yeah, all of them are set to move somewhere. Yep, excellent. So these guys here, let's have one of them go that way after he gets here, and then the other one's going to advance over this way. Uh, looks like they're actually advancing now, so we're going to have to fight some people. We're going to have to fight them, guys. This is in the middle of winter as well, so all attacks are going to be kind of difficult, I'd say. Uh, and, yeah, just sinking so many convoys. This has got to be, like, really tanking their, their war support, honestly. Let's just take a look and see how it's changed. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Yeah, we're really tanking their war support now. So the convoy battles, guys... They are helpful, absolutely. Uh, what's this over here? Yep, we know about this one already. Once again, engaging our submarines. Looks like they're they're gonna get away though. Yeah, it seems that they should be able to get away. Uh, didn't sink anything though. Yeah, and we didn't. We might have fired one off. Just take a look here. We took a little bit of damage, but yeah, we might have fired one off. There's some strength there that the strength loss. I don't think was there before. Maybe shot some torpedoes off as we ran away. <laughs> So, uh, destroying Japanese divisions there, attacking there, advancing here. Uh, let's take a look at what happened over here. I want to make sure that we don't miss any of these these naval battles, uh, the the big naval battles uh, that I'm hoping to have happen. All right, did we seize control of the region? We did. Excellent. So at the very least, we can go ahead and launch our attacks. So let's go ahead and make this happen, guys. Uh, in fact, we should probably assign the other. Make sure that both divisions are assigned over here. And let's see if everybody's ready. We do have the reserve convoys. Let's do it. Uh, let's go ahead and launch our attacks, though. Where the hell is that other fleet at? 
Hey, where's that large fleet? Are they both over here? Jesus fucking Christ. I could have used one over here, guys. <laughs> All right, that's a shame. Hmm, you know what, whatever, it's fine. We have a lot of troops, or a lot of ships uh, assigned to that area, so hopefully they'll protect them. If we lose a couple divisions, then, you know, there's no way around it, guys. These guys decided to, to both cover uh, fleets here, so that's fine. I suppose we, we need these troops covered too. Let's take a look here. Three more convoys sunk. Excellent. Uh, did we get the troops there? We did. Excellent. Let's do... These guys are a little bit damaged here. Let's have them train. Uh, and yeah, they can train right there. That's fine. So we'll have those guys train up. And then let's send this division over here. I, I have brought the Metskins to all the different ports. So that hopefully the Japanese aren't successful in any invasions of the Philippines. So we're going to have three divisions to launch our invasion of North Borneo, guys. I'm hoping that one succeeds. Uh, we have dockyards available as well. Let's take a look. Probably going to put these into the new battleships. Yeah, I'm just probably going to put all the all the dockyards into battleships. We could use more, more battleships. Let's take a look at our training fleet. Make sure there's nobody over here that we could use. There actually is. There's a destroyer. All right, well, let's go ahead and get them assigned. Uh, we're going to want them... Probably somewhere in the Pacific, since that's where we're, we're currently engaging. Uh, and we would want to assign them to... Probably going to do... I think we're waiting on getting more... Yeah, we kind of have a lot of destroyers here. Let's do it over to, to that fleet, then. To King's fleet. He could use another destroyer. All right. So it looks like there's a naval combat here in the Denmark Strait. Uh, it's just more convoy sinking. All right. Uh, and it's kind of getting hard to see what the hell's going on down here. You know, there's just so much so much going on. Uh, that's one reason why I was kind of hesitant to create two theaters, but you guys are right, it does. It's just, it is hard to see what the hell's going on here without the two theaters. Uh, but having the two theaters, of course, causes issues as well. Uh, you can't see some stuff. All right, so naval invasions are launching. Uh, looks like no resistance to take that. Uh, no resistance to take these either. Excellent, we did get fleet submarines too, and uh, research has been finished for the cruiser submarine. Uh, so that is a new ship design that we can use. Uh, so that's pretty cool, I think. Yeah, technology cruiser submarine hull. Hmm, that's, that seems like something we might want to check out. So we got the un unrestricted submarine warfare next, and that's what we're, we're going down this branch for because that uh, decreases surface detection, or increases their surface detection, so they're better at detecting surface ships, and their visibility is decreased. So should help keep our our submarines alive a little bit longer. So let's take a look at the uh, the new submarine holes that we just got, or whatever the hell we just got. The cruiser submarine hole. So let's just take a look at what it is. Hmm. All right. How is it different? Not entirely sure what's different about it. I mean, other than it's it's clearly better than the 1936 submarines. So we could use our experience, but I'd prefer to get cruisers. Yeah, we won't get the submarines uh, right now, but it seems almost like it's it's a similar design to the 1940 cruisers, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know what the difference is, other than maybe you can get those a little bit quicker than the 1940 cruisers. Of course, you know you'd have to really beeline towards that, uh, and then you could have some early, you know, really good submarines early on. So we have completed this invasion. Excellent. Oops. Let's go ahead and stop that, and then we're gonna want to do uh, another invasion. Uh, and I imagine sending. I think we have troops up here, don't we? We do. All right, so let's go ahead and set these guys up to do an invasion right there. And then we're gonna set these guys up to do an invasion over here. Just try and take all these damn islands out. And I wanna say these guys should be finished as well. Yes, sir. It's like they are all done. So let's go ahead and have the troops here launch their next invasion, which will be right there. And then these troops here we're gonna set them up for a naval invasion to attack right there, but and we could also move over to here, in fact. You know what, I think we will do that, actually. Let's just change, we're gonna change these up. Let's go ahead and have these guys invade over to here. Uh, whose territory is that? I don't think it's an enemy. Oops, that's not the right one, this one. There we go, fantastic. So we're gonna set those guys up, but we're also gonna go ahead and have them wrap this up for us. And this is New Zealand, okay. So yeah, we don't wanna attack there. 
So they'll do that naval invasion. That means that I can go ahead and change these guys up too because I only wanted them doing the naval invasion there. Or they at? Here we go. Uh, I only wanted them doing the naval invasion there because I thought we we're gonna have these guys invade here. All right, so it looks pretty good. Knocked out a couple islands. Still gotta take a lot more, obviously. And let's go ahead and send another division over there now. Remember, we're just trying to send them one at a time. Uh, one division, please. And let's get them signed to Wake Island. Excellent. So doing pretty good over there. Let's take a look at the situation over here uh, and make sure that we continue to push forward. And we're gonna try and take that, that key port right there. Let's go and attack over that way. And once again, we're gonna keep the, that division there for right now, just until we've pushed them out a bit further. Let's go and go over here, I think. This would probably be the easiest way to do this. Let's go have all these guys here push over this way. Uh, we did stop their advance here, at the very least. Might not be able to win. Let's get all the troops over here, and then we'll attempt the attack. Also, there's another air base there that we can make use of. Uh, let's take a look here. If there's any close air bases, no. But we are providing a bit of support here. It does seem that there's enemy fighters as well, so we're at the very least, we're engaging them. Remember, we have uh, currently have Amelia over here. I don't know if we have anybody else here. Yeah, I think I think this is fine. I would rather have them on the, the naval bombers there. Let's take a look at Cowboys Sunk. Yeah, just more and more convoys getting sunk. Excellent. Once again, affecting the war support of the British. Still haven't engaged anybody over here yet. So that's unfortunate. I really thought we would end up battling them, but maybe they pulled back. They're scared, that's why, guys. They don't want none of it. We'll just let them prioritize which divisions they support, I suppose. I can't really force it, apparently. I tried to last time, and then they kind of did what they wanted to do, so. All right, there we go. Uh, it's 14 days to get those invasions started. Uh, so we'll have to wait a little bit. Let's go ahead and pull these guys out. Move them over here. I'll probably reorganize armies before we send them anywhere. Right now, there's not really anything to do with the armies uh, other than you know fight where we're currently fighting. I could always send more over to the Red Army, and we might do that, but I'm kind of worried about supply right now, guys. The supply is kind of garbage here, so yeah, we'll have to see what happens. So I'm gonna push forward here and attack right there. We're gonna try and get these cab divisions cut off. So we'll attack there and then there and then probably right there. All these guys attack right there. All right, excellent. Where's these guys at? Uh, let's go ahead and start attacking this way. Remember, we want to cut off uh, any divisions here from supply first, and then we want to move up over here and cut off these divisions from supply so they can no longer advance successfully. They'll have to come back. All right, another convoy sunk there. And we have some de decisions available. Yugoslav, okay, so it looks like we should might as well just go into all their conflicts now if they ask, because China is now in the conflict against us. Uh, I think, that's what it just said. Uh, perhaps not though. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't say that they're at war with us yet. All right, well, it's probably about time to, to join the war anyway. It's causing problems, I'm sure. All right, so this is the readmit the state to the union. I want to say that that's at the top. Yeah, this is gonna be Mississippi. It just sucks we gotta do all these, man. It's just soaking up our damn political power. Uh, and I think that's all I needed to do. Does seem, yeah, we still got the North Carolinas in production. That's fine, obviously. All right, so advancing here, getting this taken, getting the territory taken. Let's take a look at our naval invasions here. I think that this is, yeah, this is the naval invasion army there. I believe they're already actually. Let's take a look. They might be ready to launch. All right, well, let's go ahead and have them launch then, if they're all ready. Yeah. All right, so we're launching four simultaneous naval invasions right now. And it does seem that that is actually gonna be the end of the episode, my friends. So we got some stuff done. We took some islands, sunk a ton of convoys, uh, just to kind of show you what, what's going on there in the convoy war. Uh, just last month, we sunk 94 convoys, two destroyers. Uh, this month, we have sunk uh, 10 convoys. We haven't lost any. Uh, we haven't lost any ships over the last couple months. So overall, naval war is going quite well. Still haven't engaged the Japanese fleet despite me putting more ships over there. They ran. They ran like cowards. So that's unfortunate. We are about ready for this. It looks like, yeah, we are ready for the invasion of North Borneo as well. So we'll do that next episode. We'll have to pull the Philippines in so that we can invade from their territory. A lot of people don't seem to know that you can't invade from neutral territory. Uh, somebody's neutral, you can't do naval invasions. You can't attack from there. You can't launch uh, airplanes, which makes sense. Uh, that's why we can't do it from Denmark. Uh, Denmark's communism is increasing, but uh, yeah, we won't build it. We'd have to attack them or they'd have to join the faction and the war for us to be able to launch invasions from them. Just taking a look at what everybody's kind of doing here. You guys can see if anything interesting is going on. 
Uh, but yeah, that is going to be the end of the episode. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh-oh. The Japanese are getting bicycle battalions, guys. It's serious. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode as we continue our invasions in the Pacific, and maybe we might be able to do something in the Atlantic if we can ever engage the damn Japanese fleet, and I can move my fleet back, then we can start on Atlantic actions again. Uh, also, helping out here too, this is going well. So once again, hope to see you on the next episode, guys. Should be fun, and thanks for watching.